Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint In this video. I'm just going to talk about a bunch of sort of hobby tools that the Army Painter do now. A little disclaimer at the start, they did send me this free of charge, so bear that in mind as I do the video, but unlike a lot of the videos I've done for them, I actually asked for all of these products because I, I, I need them and, and I wanted Scott to get off my case about not wearing, using a pair of tweezers every time I do my basing. So the reason I actually needed them is I wanted to actually show, start showing you a bit more about basing. You've probably seen basing videos starting to come up and I needed tweezers. I needed a pair of like these pin suppliers and I needed a drill bit. So that's in this box. So let's just have a look. I mean, it's going to be a box opening and we'll just discuss what they're for and uh, that sort of thing. You might notice there's uh, some snow all over this. So as I mentioned, they sent it for free and it was literally like Christmas this time because I got some snow in the pack and the packet had been smashed open by Royal Mail. Woohoo! Um, and basically there's snow over everything. I've cleaned what I can, but I didn't want to open it off camera. So uh, yeah, the snow's trapped inside. So that's going to go all over my desk momentarily. So let's start with the new self-healing cutting mat they do. I've not opened this because I already have one. So I didn't need a new one yet, so I'll keep this in pristine condition. I won't open it on camera because there's nothing to see. It's like every cutting mat you've ever seen, except it's branded Army Painter. So I do actually love that. I don't know if I'm becoming a bit of a fanboy, but I kind of like that my stuff's branded, not just like eBay, generic, going to snap, wreck, not, who knows, will the eBay ones even heal? My own is from eBay and it does heal, but it's nice to have some brands on the stuff I use. It just, I don't know, makes me a little bit happier that it's not cheap tap, but it's a cutting mat. If you've not got one, highly recommend you get a cutting mat. I use it for cutting. I also just paint on it to save my desk to some extent. Um, I've scratched it, even though I have a cutting mat, I should probably put it down more often than I do. But these do self heal. So as you cut into them, you, it'll cut through it. But it basically, oh, let me find my cutting mat. They basically just disappear. So I've used this to cut a lot and you can't see any big gouges, but I mean, hopefully that pick, ah, uh, if I bend it, you can sort of see it, but they kind of just disappear and you can't feel them. So this is just a generic one, as I mentioned, quite bent, unlike the Army Painter one, but that normally flattens out. And then you can see I also paint on it. So that's all paint not going on my desk and these will clean easier than taking my desk to the sink. So cutting mat's cool. Army Painter now do one. If, if you haven't got one, grab one. And if you're ordering from Army Painter anyway, it's just another product you can pick up from them. Let's then look at the tweezers because this is a nice and simple. So what do we have here? We have a pair, uh, two tweezers, blue with perfect precision and control. So this is what Scott gets cross with me. Uh, I do not have perfect precision and control using my fingers. And more importantly, super glue glues fingers more easily than anything. So it's nice to be able to keep my fingers at sort of arms, arms reach, but not quite arms reach, tweezer reach away. Let's have a quick look at them. I think they're just gonna be like tweezers. Um, oh, I'm gonna to have to break the seal, but I'm going to because I will 100% be using these in the next day or two. So let's just get them out, get rid of some packaging, clear some space in my house. So you've got sort of, I don't know how you describe it, but it's a flat one. Oh, they feel nice. They're quite easy to use. Yeah, they're very uh, hard to explain, but it's a really light touch. It doesn't take much. Oh, ow. Uh, that's quite pinchy. I haven't got anything nearby to pick up. but So that's the lightest touch I could imagine. I thought I'd drop it, but that's, that's super light. That's really, really easy to use, which is nice because I imagine when I'm using them, I'm going to have like my hands are going to be busy, etc. What's this pair? It's just a real, that was really sharp. Careful. Uh, so, oh, this is a lot harder to press. I don't know if that's meaningful in any way, shape or form. Let us know in the comments below. But that's a really, really thin, narrow point. So that's going to get you very easily picking up little precise thing. Wow, that was really easy to pick up. So excellent. I have some tweezers. Both got the brands on, both different colors. So they're easily recognizable, which is which. And then they've got these protectors, which is great because otherwise you're going to be putting them away and they're going to take up more space than they need to. So it's going to wrap them up and keep the sharp bits. Yeah, yeah. You, see that covers the end so you can't stab yourself and that pinches them together so you can't really stab yourself either. Great, they're fantastic. I had seen and heard that you get those tweezers like in reverse. So you, they're like that normally and you have to press them to prise them apart. Anyone seen those? Army Painter, obviously I haven't done them yet, aren't doing them in this set, but 
Yes, some tweezers. Scott, Scott, leave a comment below. <laughs> so that looks great. I'm looking forward to them. And last but not least is this hobby hole hobby toolkit full of snow. Oh, it's going everywhere. Uh, all the tools you need to assemble any miniature army. So I don't often assemble armies, so let's have a look. Uh, it's a bit uh, chicken and egg though, because the knife to open it is inside the box. So luckily that wrapping was, oh, there's so much snow. That wrapping was so easy to remove anyway. So we are, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Oh gosh, let's. I'm going to tweet Royal Mail after this and ask them to send a Hoover so I can clean my desk. Yeah, the package. This was all packed. I mean, this was all in the same stuff. Nothing is damaged whatsoever. The packaging was fine. Uh, there was a big hole in the box, and the po postman was like, "I don't know how. I don't, your parcels leaking white stuff. I don't know how this has happened. It's like well, there's a massive hole in it. I think you drop kicked it up my drive. Anyway, near near mind." So as often, as always, maybe free, please take one. It's just got the butt, which is, if you've not seen my other videos, this is actually surprisingly good. There's a few tips in here, which even, you know, we, we can learn something new every day and there's plenty in there for me. So if you're very new to painting, have a quick flick through those books, try out a few of the things they suggest. They're very good. Apologize, this is probably quite noisy. It's plastic sat on uh, fake snow now. Sorry about that. Uh, let's weigh that down with some tweezers. Oh, they're not even heavy enough paints. There we go. Sorry, the box was springing open. So let's have a look what we get. We get some dusty, dusty super glue. That was really dusty. What for? There's no snow in here. Look at that. It's covered in residue. Guys, clean my bottles for me. Super glue, excellent. And it's got, I've got a bottle of this somewhere else. It's got quite a fine tip. It's quite precise as well, but that's going to be perfect for gluing miniatures models together. Then you get a pair of these sort of tin snips, aren't they? I think that's what you call them. Oh, let's have a look at the box. Does it say what they're called? Include super, free super glue. It's called pincers, uh, but I know them as tin snips. But that's for cutting the miniatures off of the sprue. And I don't have a pair of these, and these will be absolutely fantastic for... Let's see if they can cut card. No, they can't. But they'll cut through. Oh, no, they can very easily. Whoops. If you just press a little bit harder. So that's for snipping things off the sprue, snapping things apart, a lot safer than using a knife. It's a shame there's nothing to lock them shut, but I don't own a pair straight away. That's going to be very, very helpful. I no longer will have to use a knife very carefully, trying not to cut my fingers open. I can use those at much safer. Uh, another pair of tweezers quite a lot bigger so that's going to be a lot oh, it's very easy to hold shut again but that's going to be a lot easier to hold big things these are less precise let's see what this set says on the box maybe i'll we'll put this on my knee uh, these are called hang on a minute are these the pincers look did i read it wrong are the other ones metal side cutters Oh yeah, number five, they're metal side cutters. These are pincers, cool. So these aren't tweezers, they're pincers, and, and they are a lot bigger actually. You could hold quite a large item with those very, very easily. Now, what else do we have? A file. You guys probably don't see me use it very often because I don't show you preparing the miniature every time, but this is exactly the file I actually use. It's not, I don't have an Army Painter branded one. Look at that, it's got the, the logo on if you care about that, but this is, I've got a cheap eBay knockoff and it works perfectly well but it actually doesn't feel as thick as that. That feels like it might last a bit longer. Mine's starting to go. But this gives you most of the angles you need. I've got a set of five, but it basically just uses this shape. So you get one of those in the box. And if you don't have a file, you probably should have one. I don't clear, clean up every miniature and every mold line, but sometimes you just need to, and that's going to help a, immensely. Now, Army Painter Supply a Knife, and I do have a knife. We're going to be comparing to this one. Uh, mine feels so much heavier, but mine's Swan Morton. So that's from the city I live, making blades that are incredibly good. So you've got a lot to live up to. It does have a protector. That's a good start. Uh, a screwy bit here. What's that for? Maybe to tighten in the blade. I'll have to read the instructions. Yeah, yeah, you can see it's twizzling the blade now. So that would be to tighten in the blade. Now I'll have to be careful. And is it just normal sort of crafts blades? Oh, it's slightly different to my ones. Maybe you have to purchase. Oh, no, no. They're the same, aren't they? So they, that goes in there and then you tighten it up. I guess using this at the back, just being super careful. I might just do this off camera, reading the instructions, but a knife's a knife. It's branded. Again, if you care about the brand, that's actually quite nice to hold, although it feels it's quite plasticky. 
it's much thicker than this. So if you need a thicker knife, that's a lot thicker. And if you prefer holding plastic, this does, it's, mine's freezing by the way, I've been away, that's freezing cold. Uh, this is quite nice to grip actually, feels, feels good, but it feels cheaper than this. I mean, it probably is because this is a surgeon's scalpel. Anyway, that's a knife, very, very handy. Another thing that if you're new to miniature, the miniature hobby, that's one of the fir first things you'll need. It's one of the first things I got after the paints and brushes, etc. And then the last thing in this set, oh, it had, it's got an assembly and safety tool guide. Oh, look at that. Oh, it even shows you how to use things safe, safely, what they're for, what, how to use them. Oh, absolutely perfect. So everyone should read this, including myself, because I'm not the safest of people. Make sure you get supervised if you are a child that sort of thing do not follow my videos thinking i'm doing it the safest way ever and i love the comments below which point out how to be a little bit safer etc doing things like that because safety i mean you guys that do watch some videos i wear safety goggles when i'm cutting things stuff like that so i do take it seriously uh, my knife safety is a bit shocking though so be careful out there so this this is the last piece this is quite hard to open it's a big big solid plastic tub that's quite good because that's going to keep those drill bits very very safe so this is a drill or pin pin drill drill pin pin thing they call it a hobby drill and this is for pinning and drilling out things can i can i even use it oh my giddy ants let me speed up this footage as well while i work out how to do it right i am back and it is done so if you're unfamiliar with these sometimes you need to pin a miniature so take a little bit of metal drill a hole for him drill a hole through the base insert the metal and then sort of glue that all together and it's going to give you a better fit the other things you might want to do is drill uh, bullet holes in vehicles and the one that i want to do is drill a a barrel so one of my miniatures has got a, a gun with a barrel that's just solid plastic i want to drill a hole through that make that look a lot more realistic. If you don't know how to use it, the reason you want a hand one is because you need to be very, very careful, very precise. You're drilling through very soft plastic. It's not difficult, but essentially this isn't sharp, by the way, I'm not doing myself anyway. I mean, it is a little bit sharp, obviously. But So basically, basically you drop it, make a big bang. Basically, you can turn this on your hand, so like so and then apply that some pressure into the miniature and swizzle that round. Uh, the reason it took me so long to find is this has actually got tons of, oops, see you later drill bit. Uh, it's got tons of different sized uh, drill bit holders. So I had to find the right one, but these are double-sided. So you can get, which is great because the guns are all different sizes. So yeah, they supply you four drill bits, which is fantastic. But you know, you might want to go huge with mechs and stuff. So there's another two in the back as well in there reversible so that's pretty neat all screws apart and that's it so you're going to see some videos coming up i'll be using the super glue all the time because that's very very helpful the file i'll occasionally do I, believe me off behind the scenes i will be filing nearly every miniature i do a little bit at least then for basing, I'll be using the tweezers. I'm gonna do a video on showing you some stuff with like this. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see the drill bit used for if you've not already got one, that sort of thing. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if there's any other sort of army painter products you'd like to see a little bit more about, especially if I've already got it and I can just do your video on it. Or if they've got something else that I've never covered, let me know that in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching.